chances are you may have found out about me from websites like Omega, plus its clones, as I'm largely recognized from the middleman tutorials to hunting down predators. At first, you might think I'm an unusual person you come across. You may have encountered me through social media or by various places across the web and some multiplayer games. People often ask many different things, from genuine questions to flat out ridiculous crap to me. For starters, I am a person with a range of different interests and hobbies as I'm also an explorer, an inventor, and an artist who uses my skills and abilities to uncover the truth. My interests span across various topics such as history, current events, and future trends including open source software, hardware electronic technology, metaverses, chatting platforms to exploring some parts of the internet, plus exploring exotic environments and remote areas physically around the world. In addition, at one point, I had an interest in anything paranormal and supernatural, even collecting and analyzing information to solve mysteries known in existence, plus a lot more. Or I just share my thoughts and opinions when I have the chance to do so, presenting them all in vlog form up to fully edited content to convey a story. So this is Landrider 7 aka LR7 Land here and this is where my story begins. To keep this brief, I'll only include most of my online presence under the Landrider name and my personal life to a minimum as there is so much that I'll have to skip timelines in which I can't fit them all into this video alone. So anyways, like most kids during the 90s, I've lived a relatively carefree life in the outskirts of town, surrounded by farmland at the front of my house and relatively brand new houses at the back. Seeing my cousins was a common occurrence when all I had to do was walk next door to reach my grandparents' house as most of my family reunions take place from my dad's side of the family. School life on the other hand wasn't the best as I've had my fair share of difficulties and the other kids somewhat ignoring me or wanting to do me wrong. But other than that, my parents have been caring for me for the better part I've lived with them for the first 20 or so years of my life. I've moved to different places and even been up to 12 different schools within three different states, so keeping friends was difficult since I had no way of contacting them at the time. So that's just the gist of it. During the mid-2000s, I was originally into off-road biking back in 2005 where the name came from. My dad got me a motorcycle I've used to go around the open fields and have fun while I'm at it, but was short-lived when I moved out to another state. For the most part, I grew up with computer hardware, software, and electronics in which over the years I have learned the fundamentals of the many fields there are with the use of technology, or that's what my dad got me into in my earlier years. Around 2007, I found myself getting into graphics design, playing around with software my dad found, where I learned how to use an early version of Photo Impact in which I've gotten my start from. Then later got into 3D design in which I've used a program called Animator to practice with in which I first opened my YouTube channel in 2009 that first went under the SciTech Productions name as I once had the idea to start a company where my early content consists of vlogs, computer hardware, tutorials, and animations if you can call it that to even music production in 2010. The channel name got replaced to Landrider 7th by 2013, discontinuing the SciTech brand entirely. That same year, I've started playing this game called Cube 2 where I've made a name for myself by the time I first started building the ship at around mid-2011. With the help on whoever is willing to volunteer to completing the map, it became a challenge to work on due to how 
massive and unnecessarily detailed it became for not having the foresight to realizing how it will affect performance on computers at the time. It was going to be for the next update of Cube 2, but seeing how long it took and how Sour Bratton is declining in users a decade later, I've decided to repurpose the map to be ported to other 3D game engines as a virtual museum of sorts to showcase and preserve the history for both the ship and the Land Rider brand as this interactive map to explore. A lot more has happened within the game itself, but that's for a separate video. There was also an attempt to create my own operating system called Elcor at one point as I was learning about Linux and open source software as I wanted to try to put one together to make Linux easier for the average person to get started in an attempt to once again make a name for myself as a open source developer even releasing a video in 2011 to showcase what it has to offer unfortunately it took me a while to realize that I wasn't the only one doing a similar thing and most people prefer what works for them so I've ended up discontinuing developing my own distro to focus on other things instead perhaps one day I'll repurpose the project for something else there was a time where I faced paranormal encounters when I was younger. For instance, my mother was being under attack by witchcraft and performed a prayer to defend ourselves and that she believed that it was an attempt to take me away from what I can recall. I can't exactly remember every detail or how true this is, but at the time, I believed it. Fast forward between 2015 to 2017, I was an IT guy for ghost investigation team traveled to different historical places to entering other people's houses in which they believed are haunted and at one point I wanted to create a way to interface the spirit realm with the use of technology. I've been to a good number of places where I took pictures and videos that I have saved on a hard drive in which it unfortunately became inaccessible to where I didn't make a backup and so I'm only left with almost a terabyte worth of data trapped in this hard drive so the most I can do is hold on to it until I can afford to have it rescued by a data recovery lab if it wasn't for that I could have have made paranormal related content maybe one day I could make multiple ghost hunting videos once I can afford to have them saved from the broken hard drive for the most part creating videos wasn't a full priority at the time when I was focused more in real life and figuring what direction to go from there. By 2016, I made a Twitch in where I streamed some of my gameplay from Cube 2 while coming up with commentary before I dropped it shortly after due to how awful my life became during that time. To continue on, it wasn't until late 2019 when I started streaming myself going on Omega and showing off my gameplay all at once on Twitch. The pandemic happened in the beginning of 2020 in which I lost my job by March of that year in which I've started streaming Omega on Twitch full time as well as making videos not exactly Omega related like deep web exploration and a few others throughout the year. Around November of late 2020, I became one of the first Omega middleman that isn't Hyphonics along with a few other YouTubers like Youper at the time who released their video before mine in which on early 2021 released the first well edited middleman fake skip tutorial that changed the landscape of Omega while YouTubers like Tron OBS and the Fearless YT got their videos taken down. Around the same time during the making of the middleman video, I caught COVID through my family and even lost my grandmother due to it by the end of December of 2020. To say this affected me would be an understatement as I've halted most of my streaming and content I was working on at the time to recover from the loss. Skipping by around September of 2021, I've met a man by the name MT in which I have got into hunting down predators with him on Omega and once again made a shift in the 
the Omega content I produced while releasing unrelated uploads to change it up a bit. So much have taken place in the past two years I was involved with MT's investigations that I can't fit in this video, so the rest is history. There have been attempts by trolls to spread rumors about me, going as far as slandering my name during these investigations, even fabricating false narratives as an intimidation tactic to prevent me from going any further or getting me in trouble. For instance, I had some very horrible people impersonating me, going as far as committing crimes under my name to damage my reputation or worse. There may be something about me on the internet, however, in most cases, they often put too much effort only so it doesn't get anywhere and causes minor inconveniences for everyone involved. In other words, never take anything at face value even if it seems too good to be true and definitely don't feed the trolls. I'm aware that I haven't mentioned every detail and skipped out on so many things, so at the time of making this video, I've worked a full-time job with odd hours and making anything about everything else I listed has been a challenge to get working on due to how time-consuming it gets and the cost of making these types of contents. If anything, streaming with my avatar on is so much easier than it is to work on a video where it takes quite a bit of research research and motivation to get started with ever-changing subjects or topics I've covered. Also, quick fun fact, the seventh in Land Riders was added to symbolize luck for its superstitious value, which happens to be a prime number. And at one point, I've held this belief in other Land Riders under different names and numbers out there that are yet to be discovered. This VTuber avatar seen here is named Eden also known as The Lady in Red. This character made on v -Roy Studio has been seen on various streams and intercepting calls, first known throughout the second half of 2021 on Omega and later its alternatives. It was first used as a means to conceal my identity without appearing as a blank screen, while keeping the encounter interesting and appear approachable. Some might think that me and Eden are the same person, but we're not. I'm just a creator, while Eden is a separate character altogether. As for an in-depth look on Eden and her story, that's a separate video in on itself. So basically, I'm learning and discovering everything there is to know about life and everything that exists while sharing my thoughts and experiences about it. As much as Omega is where most of my recognition came from, there's plans to look into exploring other things that interest me the most, to even revisiting some of my roots from where the name Landrider came from. Think of it as an online diary where I share my thoughts and journey with others who happen to be interested in what I create and share. From an early age, one of my big dreams is to become the first freedom fighting starship captain, influencing the world in a major way. Even if this can't be done physically within the current skills and technology within my lifetime, if that doesn't work out, I'll look into virtual reality or stay with what I'm good at, or try something else that aligns with my goals. Other than that, I'll work with whatever is left on my to-do list. I'm well aware that I don't know everything there is to know about the topics that I cover, nor do I claim to have such knowledge, but I'm always learning and figuring out how to approach these concepts and ever-changing interests. Working on any of these projects is a time-consuming process that could take days or even years to even finish and it's not exactly known if the final result will meet any expectations. Perhaps I'll need help to even overcome these barriers I often face when starting these projects or even coming up with the best approach to see where it's going. If you'd like to support what we do and want to see us succeed, give a tip or your time, skills, if you believe it can help with any of these projects. I'll even credit you for your contributions for ongoing or new projects. You're more than free to look into my previous work and see how far I've gone and how much it's changed over time. Visit www.landrider7th.com for more info. Till then, 
This is LR7, a truth seeker, explorer, inventor, artist, and warrior facing challenges known in existence and logging out. More TikTok links. I won't be able to. Yeah, I won't be able to click on any of these because these are all like. These are all uh, Twitter or, or TikTok. I, I, and it's going to take me to a third uh, party. <laughs> Loof hair.